Yo yeah, guys, it's Mike. Um, just thought I'd do possibly my last video today, but I'm not sure yet. Um, on our 10 piece kit series. Now, as I previously said in another video, to me the 10 piece kit um, is just a mentality. Um, I got a comment from um, Scott from My Six Blades saying um, he looks forward to how I tackle the um, 10 piece kit mentality. Now, he said it correct there to me. It's just a mentality. You're actually just building a kit um, that is a refined kit um, that has everything you need to live out. Now, this, this might mean that if you add up all the pieces of kit you've got, it might actually equal 20 pieces, you know, make or more. But it is actually just a mentality to build your kit to allow you to live out. So that, to me, means once we've got our favourite cutting blade, we should probably take a bigger blade bigger chopping blade on the, the other side and um, or so so I'm just going to go over a few of the items I'm trying to um, give people a selection also of lower priced items as well and um, so I'll start with the highest price item probably all just seen me review this it's the Johnson Adventure Pop Belly Knife now this also comes with another small knife which I showed in my video and it comes with a pouch as well. This pouch could put a survival kit in which obviously the items in that are going to help you out in any situation and so will a smaller knife um, for skinning game or whatever especially if you've got your slingbow showed in another video and um, you know once you catch a rabbit or your um, squirrels or wood pigeon or whatever you're going to have to skin it somehow or at least prepare it with the wood, wood pigeon you don't really skin a wood pigeon you more um, prepare it with cutting down the breast and so on but anyways so this is about I think it's about £90 in the UK so that's the most expensive option for a cutting tool but it will do everything you want your larger cutting tool to do splitting, chopping and so on and um, the next option I would talk about is the Grand Falls Brooks small forest axe. Now, to me, you could carry a hatchet, which is possibly about that long. Um, but why not carry a slightly larger, a slightly larger axe because you'll actually get more out of it because you can put two hands on and you've got all that power in your back muscles and your core muscles to chop or to split and so on. Um, furthermore, with skill and practice, you can actually learn to carve, you know, right up at the top. It takes it out on your forearms a bit at first, but you can actually learn to carve properly. And this is the way I've carved most of my spoons, if you ever saw that video. I've been back quite a while back now um, on projects that I've done campfire project series which I probably will carry on with um, soon just haven't got around to it yet and then another item I would definitely consider carrying on my belt is the back of that man there now this is a Ramey's um, sheath but obviously you don't have to have the sheath you could just at attach it to your belt and put it in your cargo pocket like that um, most of you guys are going to have seen this, at least, or probably own one. Um, you'll all know that it's a very good chopping tool, and combined with uh, a good um, cutting tool, like the um, Pathfinder knife, or the Mora um, Pushcraft and Survival, or the Mora Clipper. Um, you can do a hell of a lot, a real lot with it. So, this is about £30, the X is about £50 and the pot belly is about £90. So depending on your price range, you can go for whichever one you want to go for. Also guys, 
I will just say that if you do not have the money to buy a, you know, a, um, a saw like this, a backhoe saw, then go down to a home base or a B&Q or your local DIY store and look in the garden section for folding pruning saws. I'm sure you'll find one there that will be not as good, but it will be suitable for you um, starting out in bushcraft. So guys, that's our extra cutting tools um, in our 10 piece kit. So thank you for watching guys. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna go inside. Might do another video, I'm not sure yet. So thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video.